I have this 16 inch unfinished square piece of wood and I'm going to start by using some Wise Owl clear primer just because as you could see there are a lot of knots in this board and sometimes you can get bleed through. I'm then going to take my straight edge and using my straight edge I'm going to mark at two inches in from all sides of my square and I'm going to create a two inch border going around the board. And I'm just marking that off with my pencil. Once I had the border all measured out, I'm then just going to take the Wise Owl Snow Owl and I'm going to paint the border in the white. Now all paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And I just need a light color around the border. You do not need full coverage. One coat is fine. Once that had fully dried, I then taped around the border where the white started. And in the center of the board, I'm going to use Wise Owl Goldenrod. Now, of course, you could pick any colors of your choice. I do recommend a white on the outer edge for the next step. I will remove my painter's tape. I have this buffalo check tissue paper that can also be found on our webpage and I'm going to lay my board on top of the tissue paper and I'm going to cut around my board. Now I'm using my rotary cutter and I have a cutting mat underneath me. You can of course use just a regular pair of scissors. Once I had the tissue paper cut into the shape of my board I'm then going to go around the inside, leaving one row of the pattern on the outside. And this is going to be the border for my board. Now, whenever decoupaging, we like to use the Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear or the Wise Owl Varnish. I'm using the One Hour Enamel Clear here, and I do recommend a light color underneath the tissue paper. It just keeps the image nice and bright. So I'm going to apply the one hour enamel clear to half of my board on the outer edge. I'm going to lay the tissue paper down and then I will finish off the other half. And once I had that applied, I'm going to lay the tissue paper on top of that. And I'm kind of working on the sides and then finishing off on the bottom. I then just take some saran wrap. This is going to just help make sure that the tissue paper makes contact with the one hour enamel clear. I'm rolling my brayer on top. It's also going to help eliminate any bubbling or wrinkles. And once I had that fully down, I then just took Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear and gave the entire thing a good coat of that. Now I have this wood chicken. It came from Walmart. It was unfinished. I painted it in the Wise Owl Snow Owl. And then I'm just adding some detail with the Wise Owl Republic Red. And then I'm going to go on some of the wings and detailed areas with some Wise Owl Black. And I'm just using the edge of my paintbrush in a dabbing motion to create almost a feather effect. Now, of course, you can give this chicken as much or as little detail as you would like. I'm going to keep most of it white, just adding some detail to those areas. Now, I printed off with my Cricut using some vinyl, the words chicken crossing. Now, I did cut a few extra, so you could find these over on our webpage, chalkitupfancy.com, if you do not have a Cricut and you're unable to make your own. I'm using my transfer tape to transfer the wording to my project, and you just want to make sure you rub it down before lifting up that clear transfer tape. I put the chicken at the top, and there's a little curve to that. And then I place the crossing on the bottom. Now again, I'm using transfer tape to transfer it to my project. 
I'm gonna lay it down and rub nicely. So now we have chicken crossing and I'm going to glue my cutout in the center of the board. Now I did have some smaller chickens if you wanted to add extra. I kind of just liked it better with just the one. And I decided to add a little bit of chicken wire to the center here. So I'm just going to use my handheld stapler. I feel like the staple kind of hides with the chicken wire. And I'm okay with this looking a little rustic. So I just stapled that in place. And I just had it covering the center. And there you go. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.